Virgo, you are up for the April Love Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Podcast carried everywhere. As for the reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now, I'm using my Love Oracle deck. I'll clarify with the tarot deck. The general readings are already up for all of the signs. Obviously, this is the love reading. I will start doing the money readings probably in a week. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. May I have the energy for Virgo for April? May I have the energy for Virgo for April? May I have the energy for Virgo for April? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it? Something's telling me to take this card right here. I don't know what it is. I'm just setting it to the side. What is it that Virgo needs to hear? Thank you. Mmm. First time that one's come out. Because I've been having a lot of repeat cards throughout the readings. First time that one's come out. Let's see. And these cards... Hmm. Okay. This... One of the energies that I'm getting up is these cards have fallen on the ground. Is that... In this particular relationship situation, whether it's currently together or not or in limbo or whatever. One of the dynamics I'm picking up from the energy is that there is a up down type of thing. Like somebody's on a pedestal and somebody's looking up and the other person's looking down and there isn't balance. Like somebody's here, somebody's here, but there's not balance, if that makes sense. And that might have been a contributing factor to some of the things in the relationship. Anything else for Virgo for April? Anything else Virgo needs to hear? Okay, yeah, that did turn over. Bottom of the deck, what is the truth? Hmm. What is the truth? Now, with these cards, this can be you feeling that way or this can be them feeling that way or it can be both of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But somebody, the question in the air is, what is the truth? Either you're asking that, they're asking that, or both of you are asking that. Now, the card I set to the side, because something told me to take it, I didn't know what it was. Now we do. It says, I can't make a decision. I can't make a decision. And then the cards that came out, the first one was painful memories. Painful memories. And then the other one, the way I have treated you was wrong. The way I have treated you was wrong. And finally, it says, I have to let you go to find myself. I have to let you go to find myself. So somebody, in order to find out who they are, they have to separate from the situation. That is what their thought process is. This could be for you or it could be for them. Again, one of the things that I feel contributed to whatever this is, is there not being a balance in regards to reciprocity and in regards to like how someone views the other. Like what their, not vision, there's another word that I'm looking for. Not presentation. It's another word. It's not coming to me right now. What is that word? It's outlook. Thank you. What their outlook is on someone. So whatever your outlook is on that person or whatever their outlook is on you, it it wasn't a balanced outlook on, on the individual. So, yeah, that contributed. 
Let's go ahead and clarify this, though. Let me get my tarot deck. Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy on the table? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? Thank you. So temperance is coming out. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Hmm. Am I taking these? Yes, I am. So. All right. And then you have the Queen of Swords. So you have temperance and the Queen of Swords. Very interesting energies. Queen of Swords is about not wearing her heart on her sleeve. And again, there's no gender in tarot. This is energy. Not wearing her heart on her sleeve. But can be very giving under the right circumstances. If, if it is an even situation. Temperance. Temperance can be about healing. Also, temperance can be about remaining grounded. Temperance can also be about alchemy. Meaning, there, you know how in alchemy, I don't know if you've watched like Full Metal Alchemist, which is an anime, but one thing that they always talk about is that there has to be an even exchange. Meaning, you can't take something without giving something. And I kind of feel... A Queen of Swords mindset is like that. A Queen of Swords mindset can go by that. Where it's like, look, I'm not just about to give everything and then you give nothing or you give just the bare minimum. It's, it's going to have to be balanced. Is what it will have to be. So there's that energy. Also, Queen of Swords is Libra energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Right? Or you can have Libra in your chart because... Libra's right after Virgo. Somebody could be a cusp, like towards the end of September or something. So yeah. Now, Seven of Pentacles is here about investing. Seeing if something grows. Laying a foundation. And nurturing something. So somebody wants to keep the relationship and somebody may want to let it go. Unless something changes. Let's see. Anything else? Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Which can be about working together, contracts. Also, it can be about commitment. Maybe someone wants an actual commitment. Thank you. That just flew down. Goodness. Two of swords. Somebody is against commitment. That's what they're against. Also, there may be a situation where multiple people are involved. That that also might be it too. And not necessarily multiple people in like a... um. A love triangle or something like that. Not saying that it can't because it is a three. But no, I'm talking about like onlookers, spectators, stuff like that, where some people might be involved. For some of you, if that is the case, that might be the reason why you're not so sure about continuing this relationship or starting the relationship back up. Whatever it is related to this relationship other outside parties may have played a role too in this. Interesting. And then judgment came out reversed. So yeah, that's a no. That's a no. Somebody doesn't want to do it. They do not. With the two of swords and the judgment reversed, following the three of pentacles, that's a no. Bottom of the deck. Oh, that is mm, 
three of three of swords. So there was a third party situation for somebody. Extreme hurt. Definitely other people were involved in this. Also, something just said to me when I was looking at the way I treated you was wrong. For some of you, this is related to somebody didn't speak up for you or you didn't speak up for them. What happened Going back to the three of pentacles, remember when I was telling you there were spectators and onlookers and things like that? Could have been family, could have been friends, could have been co-workers, whatever. When something happened, someone had the opportunity to speak up on another person's behalf and they didn't do it. Mm -hmm. That's what that was. Bottom of the deck with that three of swords. What's under the three of swords? Eight of swords. Hmm. No communication. Shutting people out. What's under that? Two of Wands. Long-term planning. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. That's a single energy. Even though she's walking with someone, she's single. And independent. And then under that is the Queen of Wands, which is also an independent energy. So for some of you... That This is going to be a hard no. <laughs> so if you're thinking about asking them, it's more than likely going to be a hard no. If they're thinking about asking you, it's more than likely going to be a hard no. Whoever's thinking about, whoever the person that's going to ask, they're going to get a hard no. With all of this. Somebody is fine being single. And based off of what's happened in the past, keep in mind, painful memories... Yeah, and the way that someone was treated, they feel like they don't know where someone stands. Like you, you may feel like you don't know where they stand, especially if this is you where they didn't speak up for you when they had the opportunity to and they didn't. But then they're saying, oh, I want to be with you. And it's like, well, you didn't even speak up for me when you had the opportunity or whatever is attached to this where it's like, where do you stand? And because... We can't seem to narrow that down, even though some people might be talking about long term plans. Mm -mm. That's a hard no is what I'm getting. Anyways, that's your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Till next time. Also, if any of this resonated with you, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And the comment section is always open. I love comments. Until next time, be blessed.